what I found most interesting working with postcards and stereo cards on the archive was that you really get a sense of how important the images on the front really were. We take for granted now in the 21st century that you can go online and look up countless images of palm trees, boats, foreign lands. You see that stuff on TV all the time. The postcard internship, um, I felt my interest in it was that um, more, more along the lines of like the sentiment that went with the cards and, and the actual writing that people did on it. Um, I found the, the topics that people talked about and um, back in even 1908 and things like that were pretty interesting to me the, and, the, and the language that they used was much different than what we use. Um, another uh, subject that I found interesting in the internship was the, uh, the military postcards that the soldiers sent back to their loved ones. Um, the formats of them, the, the illustrations, the humor that they used, the layout of the actual postcard um, were all types of things that I found uh, interesting. And my interest in the cards um, started with looking at the sea landmarks, the churches, monuments, buildings, they all made our cities. And what was interesting was that they were all, they were their little alone time, time machines. They were about, they had uh, the conversations that we have, uh, little snippets of everyday life in 1954 or even late 1890s. It was a very, it had a very interesting historical significance here. I did my exhibit on fashion over the century and um, it was really interesting because I found out how um, I found out that as, as the years went by and more people became, the more liberal people became, the more casual clothes became. Um, back in the 1920s, it was normal to walk around with a hat for women to wear hats and men, and men to be dressed in full suit and tie and hard bottom shoes. I also found out when the first sneaker was made, and um, they weren't called sneakers, they were called like pill, pillows or something like that. And um, women would be dressed from head to toe in hat, pearls, long dresses to the floor. Uh, they were completely covered. What I found um, pretty cool, uh, an actually cool experience that I had when I was working on the archive is um, there is this intersection of, uh, I think it was like 41 and um, Clark or something, which is just, I'm from Sarasota. And that intersection is still there, but I got to see it like 60 years ago. So that was just kind of a, a really cool moment for me because I live like 10 minutes away from that particular intersection. And you know, it was just older cars and you know, not at all the same building. So that was kind of interesting. And um, also just the variety of cards that you can choose from and learn from, like things that I wouldn't even expect to be interested in, I was learning about. And um, so that was really cool. Well. I've always been pretty interested in um, astronomy, so that I, I was just drawn to um, the NASA cards uh, to do my exhibit on anyways. And um, I learned some pretty cool things. There's actually a visitor center over in Orlando that does a ton of events still. They do like sleepover events where you just go in, you get to tour the facilities, like they'll do presentations, and it still goes on um, right now. And then there's, um, I did a photo of a shuttle and so I got to actually um, research the different parts of the shuttle you know and I hadn't um, really known anything about that before so it's just a lot of learning experiences from doing this.